look at this Maisie. Oh, I've not seen this old album for years. So many memories in here. Now, oh, thank goodness my dad kept all the old photos. I tell you what, though, Maisie, it's funny. There's no many of me in here. It's nearly all my brother and my sister. Now, either the camera broke when I was wee or I was just an ugly rain. Probably just an ugly rain. It's your mammy. Your mammy's back, Minnie. What are you doing? You're no allowed up on that couch. Hello, oh, me. what are you doing? Here am I. So we're both in a rebellious mood today, eh? You know that video's on? Is it? Wonder how that happened. Well, either you switched it on or the dog did. This old photo album. I found it when I was cleaning out my wardrobe. Look at it, Miriam. Cleaning out your wardrobe? I'm surprised you're not covered in moth bites. Moths don't bite. Do they? Anyway, Miriam, look at this. My mum and dad in 1944. 76 years old, that photo. That's amazing, isn't it? Was your dad known the war? He's not got a uniform on there. No, he was he was in a reserve occupation because he was a miner. So he used to have a wee badge that he wore that said, we also serve, so that folk would know that he was part of the war effort. He used to train the Bevan boys. The Bevan boys? Is that Stonehouse gang? No. They were young men that were conscripted to work doing the mines and, you know, rather than get in the army or the services or something. My great-granddad was mine manager. Was he? Bet he was popular. <laughs> Who's that funny wee fat boy there? With a scowly face. It's not a funny wee fat boy, it's me. The day I started school. Is your face all screwed up for then? Were you greeting? No, I was angry because a big boy pinched my shirt for dib-dab. There's not much I can say to that. <laughs> oh, here. Look at this photo I found. My Auntie Aggie. Do you remember my Auntie Aggie? Ah. Oh, Miriam, you must remember my Auntie Maggie. She was at my niece's wedding. You would have been about 21 at the time, is my Auntie Aggie? Hi, <laughs> I remember your Auntie Aggie. She read my palm the night that night and she said the spirits were with me. <laughs> oh, there was plenty of spirits inside us that night, Hena. Oh, but you know what? She was a wag. What a woman she was. Full of fun. Very centric. I remember her telling me she'd got a bargain at the market. Twelve right foot at Wellington Boots. I remember that. <laughs> 12 right foot. And when I asked her why she'd bought them, 12 right foot at Wellington boots, she said, do you know what she said? Well, you never know when the left ones will turn up. That's true. Aye, she did say that. <laughs> did you know that Aggie was in the London stage once? Like cleaning it? No, acting and singing. She was like a Nellie Melba or... Lily Langtree. No, I think maybe no her, because she was a bit graceful, wasn't she? Oh, what I remember about your Auntie Aggie, she was anything but graceful. She had a mouth on her like a docker. Oh, she worked in the Glasgow trams for years. Nothing ever fazed her. One time I was on there where I was about nine or ten, I think, and there was this very pompous man. He comes running up and he says to her, eh, Conductress, is this bus going to the West End? So Aggie, she says, eh, no, Dalmuir West. So he says, well, my good lady, it doesn't say that on the front. So Aggie says, so what? It says Persil on the side, but we're not taking in washing. <laughs> she was a funny woman. Aye, uh -huh. many a good night we had with your Auntie Aggie. <laughs> See, as we're reminiscing, have a look at this wee film. I found it the other day, my Auntie Aggie on the London stage. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, I was just telling my young sister Jessie couldn't make it. She loves weddings. But she just came out of the hospital. You know, had a big operation. She's had it all taken away. <laughs> 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 the funny thing is, she only went in and got her tonsils out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know, I was that nervous about coming down the England? I've never been out of Scotland before. 
Well, actually, I've never been out of Glasgow before. Oh, no, I tell a lie. I went on a trip once with the Women's Guild to Portobello. I know that we saw much through the rain. What is that scene then? Oh, aye. So when the invitation came in, I says to my husband, Wally, I says, uh, how can I be doing in England? I know I understand what they're saying. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here I am, in London. My, it's a big too, now. Oh, mind you, I've been most impressed by the kindness I have received from the Cockney people. I'd no sooner stepped off that train in Houston when this wee Bella comes running up to me and asks me if I would like to go into the game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I says to him, says I, thank you very much, I don't follow football myself. <laughs> say that. And your fashion sense is just about the same. I'm sure I've seen that skirt before in your wardrobe. That is you, isn't it? <coughs> Dressed up like an extra and call the midwife. <laughs> right, moving on, Miriam. What memorable feasts have you got in store for us this week? Have you heard from Maggie? Uh -huh. Funny you should say that. She sent me a wee message earlier the day. Guess what? She's still in the cupboard. She's still in the cupboard. Oh, jinx. Oh, she's got a change of underwear. Oh. <laughs> Hello, it's Maggie here. Still in the cupboard. But I'm trying to keep my spirits up. It's all you can do, isn't it? I've been reading books, lots of books. All these books in this cupboard. I've been reading Going Places of the World. The Book of the Road, but then I got a bit depressed because I can't go out on the road and there's no places in the world I can go. Anyway, 
I'm really trying to keep cheerful and John's been so kind. He's been so kind. He's been bringing me cups of tea every four hours on the dot. In fact, I finished this one and that's about five hours now, I think. So I'll need to chat the door and get him to bring me another one. So I hope you're all staying cheerful. I'm staying as cheerful as I can in this wee cupboard. I've not got much room, as you can see. It's the wee room underneath the stair. But as soon as I get out, I'll try and play you another wee tune, another wee song to cheer you up. In the meanwhile, stay safe and keep smiling. Cheers. Play Maggie's wee film. Da -da 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 -da. This gives me time to put a break in the thing. Oh, she looks okay. At least John's bringing her wee cups of tea. Ah, oh, he's a good wee soul. A good wee soul? You've got to say that because he's your cousin. I don't mean to say anything. Anyway, moving on. Can we just say happy birthday to Lynn Taylor, Mamie Hamilton and our Maggie Bergen. Hope you all had a nice big slice of cake, even if you couldn't get out. Happy birthday, girls. And today... We're going to go back to early years of the Jubilee Club when we didn't have so many videos and but I've managed to find some golden oldies with some of the members sing along and also jamming sessions before the Jubilee Jammers were even formed. Goodness. Aye, aye, aye. I've really had to delve. Um, but first, before we do that, here's some volunteers that would like to say a few words to you. Da, 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 da. Hi everyone, take care and keep safe. Hi everybody, hope you're all safe and well and hope it won't be long before you're back on a Thursday for your good cup of tea. Hi everyone, hope you're all well. I'm staying safe, staying away from others and staying away from the fridge as much as possible. Hope to see you all very soon. Bye for now. Hello, Maggie here. I'm missing all your smiling faces on a Thursday afternoon. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. And I look forward to seeing everybody sooner rather than later. Take care. Bye. Hi. Well, I must admit, I'm really struggling to remember what day of the week it is. I'm really missing the Jubilee Club because it's music and humour and it always cheers us up. What more can you ask? I hope you've seen Miriam and Chris's blog, because if you have, you'll know that's definitely going to cheer you up. I can't wait to see all your happy smiling faces again. So stay well, stay safe. Hi everybody at the, the Jubilee Club. It's Elizabeth here. Hope you're all keeping well and safe and keeping yourselves occupied and keeping your spirits high. Um, missing you all. Missing going round with my trolley. But soon be back. Bye. Hello, it's me, Sandra. I just wanted to say hello and hope you're all doing well and you're staying safe and uh, in good health. And uh, all, all I wanted to say was I miss you all, all the members and all the volunteers, and I hope that I can see you very soon before the summer time. Okay, take care. Bye. Hi from me, it's Anna. Uh, out for a little walk, trying to raise my spirits in the sunshine and come and visit these fabby wee lambs. Um, hope you're all staying happy, staying healthy and staying home. See you soon. Bye, take care. Keep singing. Oh, I'm sure you all enjoyed hearing from our, our volunteers there with their wee messages. Hope that's cheered you up. As I, I didn't recognise them. I see, it's because we've not seen them for a long time. Anyway, we're now going to move on to some of the wee video clips that I've managed to delve out for you. But before we go on to watch this, as you know, the Jubilee Club is all about music, friendship and fun. But sadly, some of the members you're going to see today are no longer with us. But they were part of our Jubilee Club and they're part of our friendship. So enjoy the videos.
sail across the sea, oh, my love is there beside you, in Capri or Amsterdam, on the window of Zion, with the love of my heart, I will send my love to guide you, as I sail across the sea. well before the Jubilee Jammers. As you would notice, Stuart, Anna and Laney still had their guitars. I was the only one with the wee ukulele. Now moving on. <laughs> Thank you. 
was in the days um, when we used to just pass the time with a lot of different stuff. We had Chris on the keyboard um, and we had Anna still on her guitar and me still on the ukulele. Um, next, I think um, we're going to have our special guest, um, one of our members who is just a fabulous singer. I hope you'll enjoy this. This is Hugh. When will I play if the dear old maiden I got it? When my young sister Jean, she has had some man good luck and scarcely sixteen and the last day she was taken. Now she's twenty two and we a son and a daughter and I'm something poor and I've never had to know. Everyone joining in, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Um, they're keeping fit with a bit of armchair aerobics. <laughs> Talking about keeping fit. Are you eating again? Nothing else today, have I? Except sit and watch you doing this. Oh, Miriam, if I don't get out, I'm going to be a fat alcoholic. Oh, but nothing changed there then. Just be normal. Sure did. Anyway, after um, the armchair aerobics... We've then got Anna and some of the choir singing Is A Dove A Do. And followed by that, oh, we've got the most fabulous uh, video. And I think this just showcases the magic of music, friendship and fun. Laughter. And laughter. Oh, it could be anything. But it's a magical video. You'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But um, sadly... Um, the three ladies that are in this video are, are no longer with us, but it's just the most beautiful video. Anyway, enjoy the next wee bit. And I forgot to let Molly say hello. Hello. <laughs> Martin again song called Bingo Bell. That's my wee wife's little bell. I'll have a bit of music. I like to fuck the bingo bell. I pull on the food at the camera gate. Oh, bell, I don't believe. Before the cow starts queuing, remember we'll be playing for the big snowball. But when a wee win or lose, I'll get a damn good feed of the booze. I'll have tomorrow night to hit the deuce. Hey, bingo hall. Well, you and I were only won the last time, Bella. Maggie, my girl. Oh, we don't know, maybe it'll all shut. And the twenty-two smackers And if they're cutting the neighbours For seventeen years I have a never mind There's always something nice Right, <laughs> so
Sophie Posh that she's changing all her names. We shall be new as good dad and Jimmy's name is James. She's really got me spun her dad the way she shivels once. And I must be glad it no to end that better things are first. Oh, it's a tough a do that, it's a do a duff. It's a cow a cuda, a sparrow just a scuff. It's a wall a water, it's a dog a duck. She's going to warm my ear, dad, instead of scare my wife. You fed me a wrong dad, you called a ball a ball. And your wife is new, my mother dad, she said she was my mom. I'm not sure how to spell that, I'll never pass my test. And where does this I'm wearing that, I said it for a best. Oh, it's a duff a do da, it's a do a duff. It's a cow a coo da, a sparrow just a spuff. It's a wall a da, it's a dog a duff. She's going to warm my ear da, instead of scare my love. I gave my nose a thick that and it began to bleed. She gave me such a thick that I nearly left my seat. Oh, oh haven't you a handkerchief? Your Lord was heaven day. No, I just used my sleeve, miss, and I wiped my nose again. Oh, it's a duff a do da, it's a do a duff. It's a cow a coo da, a sparrow just a scuff. It's a wall a wada, it's a dog a duck. She's going to warm my ear da, instead of scare my love. I'm going to be happy, it's a dream. Well, hello there. Is that the Jubilee Club members I'm looking at? Lainey here. Haven't seen some of you for a while. I've just been out shopping. I'm back. I'm in my protective gear. I don't have a hazmat suit, so some of you may recognise this. This is my reindeer outfit. I've got my goggles on. I've got my mask on. And I've got my rubber gloves. And I've just got a wee wipe here. I'm just going to clean the handles down before I head back in the house. Because you just can't tell by this coronavirus thing, so I'm just giving it a wee right down. Oh, I'll do both of them, but I don't use both of them. And just, you know, I'll just put my soap in and going to wipe the handles down and things. There we go. So, I don't have the proper goggles, I thought these would do. I'll just take them off, shall I? And my mask. Oh, that's better. I can breathe now. Well, I just hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe. Don't do what I do. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> another wee message oh, that was Lainey and um, then you had me and my new banjo Lely at the time that was its wee first outing out um, now oh I know what's coming up next we've got a very popular song coming up next that I'm sure you'll all be singing along with um, the first part of it you'll see we actually did have rehearsals we actually do have rehearsals for the Jubilee Jammers so it starts off with a wee rehearsal and then 
you'll see the jammers on stage. Yay! <laughs> over the, the past while. I think that goes back roughly about four years, the ones that I managed to find. I think longer than that. Some of them might be longer than that, actually. Yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to what I'm going to put together next week. Um, but I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. Only one more thing to say. Um, I don't know... That. I don't know whether um, there might be something on the television um, tonight or not. If there is, I'll wait after the news before I, I post this. Um, and if it is on the telly, I'll stick it on at the end so that anybody that missed it on the telly can see it now. Anyway, everybody, take care, keep Bye. safe, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Well, back to coronavirus. And three weeks ago, we visited the Jubilee Club in Stonehouse in Lanarkshire. Aileen Clark has been checking up on how club members are getting on. Music was always central and companionship the aim of the Jubilee Club. 91-year-old Alec, like the rest, now in lockdown, at home on his own, relying on his daughter for his messages. How are you doing anyway? I'm doing fine. You all right? All the better for seeing you. I've been, I've been playing the Solitaire by Andy Williams on the television. I thought that was a mad situation. Solitaire, you know, on your own. I'm not very aware that he'll be lonely, maybe going a wee bit stir-crazy. Because he hasn't stepped over the doorstep. I've not got hungry, uh, and with the attention that I'm receiving from my daughter and my family. How are you being, doing without the Jubilee Club? Are you missing it? Uh, I'm missing it quite badly, yes. It's, uh, and, and, and the musical memories. And uh, But I'm keeping in telephone contact with them all the time. Among the other club stalwarts, Liam, cater for his wife Kathleen. And Kathleen wants to get out, but I keep telling her, no, we are in lockdown. But of course, Kathleen being Kathleen at the moment doesn't understand what lockdown means. They can't enjoy the music at the club anymore, so they're dancing at home. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, these are songs that Kathleen knows and that which Kathleen and I sing along to. We even have a wee dance. Well, we have a cuddle and we sway side to side. Jean, almost 90, is the main carer for her husband. They only started getting home care help a few weeks ago. She was worried that might stop. They're still coming, and that is a really big help. They're still coming. John is unaware of what's happening. How are you passing the time? Well, I'm busy for most of the day with John with different things and his meals and things. But in the evening, um, I watch the television. I've got Netflix and what have you, and... I'm an avid reader and I've got a Kindle. I think my biggest problem will be having my hair cut. I mean, my hair's no cut for the next 12 weeks. <laughs>
She speaks for us all, eh, Cossack? <laughs> yes.